What's going on, everybody? This is T from the Philly Experience Podcast, back at it again. Red Iron Films, episode two, coming at you. No hesitation. Let's get right into this film. All right, now, there's not a lot of guys that really impressed me this year, but Josh Sweat is one of them. As you'll see here, he's going to come right off the edge with an up-and-under move. Boom, hit Joe Burrow. They sacked him a whole lot this game. There's a reason why Josh Sweat is starting. All right, now, first and 10 right after the Joe Burrow sack. All right, and Carson Wentz already starts off not seeing the field very properly. They're in a single back set, one back, 11 personnel, three wide receivers. Carson Wentz is going to snap the ball here. Now, here's the thing. I want you to pay attention to Deshaun Jackson at the bottom of the screen. Their safety, they're going to switch off and cover Deshaun Jackson deep. Now Deshaun Jackson's double covered. Carson, you got to pay attention, man. What are you looking at there? Come on, man. Now, I wish Doug Peterson would call more run plays like this here. Now, Carson's going to check to what's called a trap run play. And as you can see, as I've drawn up, these are how the blocks are going to go. Now, the point of a trap is to catch blockers going up the field, and they did that successfully. Miles Sanders gets a wide open gap up the middle of the field for a nice game. All right, now, this is going to be Carson Wentz's first interception of the game here. Now, the Eagles are going to run what's called a mesh concept. But the problem is, this is against zone coverage here. So mesh is supposed to really be effective against man, but they're zoning here. So they switch off on the defenders underneath, and that's how Carson Wentz throws that interception right there. But even still, even though that ball was tipped, I believe Carson still would have thrown in that interception either way. All right, now the Bengals get the ball back right here, first and 10. Now, I don't know what in the world was going on in, on this play, all right? And as you can see, we've got motion. So the Eagles man follows the Bengals man. That indicates man coverage as we talked about last week. So now the ball is going to be snapped. Now what in the world? How is he this wide open? This is absolutely ridiculous. This is the NFL, guys. Come on. All right, now I'm going to educate you guys a little bit on this session. So that's the reason why I'm going to show you this play right here. All right, so now the Bengals are going to be going up against the Eagles this time in man coverage during the 12 personnel, as we talked about last week. That's one back, two tight end set. Now, Deshaun Jackson at the bottom of the screen is going to run what's called a comeback route. So basically, you're going to run 10 yards straight like you're running a fade, but then you're going to come right back to the ball. Beautiful execution. All right, now in this game, Jason Peters and Lane Johnson did not have their best games. Now right here, we're in twins left, 12 personnel set. Now I want you to pay attention to Jason Peters, man. He just gets completely beat. Carson Wentz just doesn't have any time to get that ball on that. Luckily, he's able to scramble, and he's able to throw this away out of bounds. But, man, the offensive line was getting really beat up this game. All right, now we're in the third and three here. Now this is 11 personnel. Everything is spread out. Now this is just Man, it's simple. All you need is three yards. All right, Carson Wentz is going to toss the ball right over the middle to Greg Ward on what's called a slant route. You run two, three yards, you cut up field, boom, easy completion over the middle. Can't say I don't sing Carson's praises. All right, now on this play, Carson Wentz is going to run what's called a zone read. Now, the zone read, the quarterback is supposed to read the edge defender. If the edge collapses in, the quarterback keeps the ball, and he runs with it. However, as you can see, the edge stays there. Now, Carson Wentz was supposed to hand this ball off. This was really an unsuccessful run, even though he went for two to three yards. All right, now, see, now this is a real simple play that really should go for more yardage than it did, but unfortunately, because of Carson Wentz struggles, it didn't. Now, Carson Wentz is going to toss this ball to Deshaun Jackson on a bubble screen. The thing of it is, he threw it behind him, made Deshaun Jackson spin, and as a result of that, unfortunately, Deshaun Jackson only goes for a short game. All right, now, the Eagles are now in the red zone at this point. And listen, how many times have I got to tell Carson this all the time? Now, you're going to get motion from Zach Gertz, which indicates there's man coverage across the board. Okay, listen, Carson, there's nobody open. Stop holding on to the damn ball. Throw it away. Covered sack. That was on Carson, man. All right, now, see, now I'm starting to understand why Doug Peterson is starting to catch the flack along with the rest of the team in terms of play calling because his play calling is really, really questionable. Now, this is going to be a running back screen out of the backfield. Defense sniffs it out, man. It, it Every single time Doug Peterson runs a screen, everybody sniffs it out. Come on, Doug, go back to the drawing board on these screens, man. 
All right, now, see, I got to show this play, man. I know I'm supposed to be unbiased, but I got to stay this, man. Jason Peters comes back, man, and asks us for a race to play left tackle, and you play like this. I have never seen Jason Peters get beat off the line of scrimmage on a simple move like that. Seriously, this is what we paying you for? All right, now, when you hear me guys talk about gaps, this is what I'm talking about right here. Now, you got the A gap that's in between the center, all right? Now, you got the B gap that's in between the guard and the tackle, and the C gap is outside the tackle. This is called a double A gap look. Now, they're, they're going to threaten the blitz, but they're not going to blitz. The linebacker's going to drop out. Derek Barnett's going to be left one-on-one -on -one with a tight end because they max protect. And finally, Derek Barnett gets a sack. I kind of wish he would step up a little bit more, but it is what it is. All right, he beat the tight end. As he should. All right. Now the Eagles are going to come in on what's called an empty set. So an empty set means there's no running back in the backfield. All right. Now the Bengals are going to send a blitz. They're blocking five. The Bengals are going to send six. Now the hot route right here is Greg Ward. Carson Wentz fails to see him due to the pressure. I don't know why the offensive line didn't ringo. All right. Now I hate breaking down bad film. All right. Game ended in a tie, so it's bad film to me, but I hate bad defense even more. All right, now on this play, Joe Burrow's going to take the snap. Now he's going to toss to the right receiver. Listen, Nate Gary gets caught out of position again, as you'll see later. Nate, cover your man. As you can see, Nate steps up, boom, right over the top of his head. Nate, stay with your man. What are you doing? All right, now not to make excuses for Carson Wentz, all right, but these tackles, man, they played hard, including Lane Johnson, man. They did not have a good game this game. All right, now on this play, I want you to pay attention to number 69 right guard, Matt Pryor, okay? I want to debunk some of the negativity that's starting to come his way. All right, now freeze right here now. Matt Pryor accidentally gets caught on a double team. But look, look at the recovery. Look how he just puts that man on the ground. That's what I like to see out of my lineman, man. Ass is on the ground. Early on, I explained what a zone read was. This time, Jalen Hurts is going to run it. Now, you're going to have double teams, okay, at the line of scrimmage, and then Zach Hurts is going to block the other edge, and that's what's going to create the running lane for Jalen Hurts for a huge first down. Nice job, Rook. Okay, now, Nate Gary gets abused again on that pass play. I'm sorry, but, man, I, these linebackers are just inept, okay? Joe Barrow takes the snap. Nate Gary supposed to be in position, out of position, completion, first down. Come on, Nate. I think I ought to name this episode Nate Can't Play. I'm serious at this point. Joe Barrow's going to get an easy touchdown. He's going to get a wide receiver that's going to cross the middle of the field all the way to the left corner of the end zone. Now, Nate Gary gets caught in this play action. He's supposed to be helping the corner. Gets caught in the play action. Come on, Nate. All right, now on this play, Carson Wentz, unfortunately, is going to throw his second interception of the game. Eagles start out wide. You got some motion. Miles Sanders comes into the fact field. Look, Zach Ertz is not a jump and go get a type of guy. Know your personnel, Carson. I am thoroughly convinced at this point just Carson Wentz starts every defense that he goes up against on his fantasy team. All right, now I've shown you guys what the zone read looks like when the quarterback keeps the ball. Now, this is what a zone read is going to look like when – he gives it off to the running back. Now the edge is going to be wide open. He stays there, gives the ball off to Miles Sanders. That's how zone read is supposed to be run, folks. All right, now this is a huge opportunity that is missed. All right, now you're going to have Miles Sanders at the top of the screen against a linebacker in coverage. Carson Wentz, I don't know what's going on with his mechanics, just because just completely overthrows Miles Sanders. Huge play missed. All right, now people are trying to convince me that T.J. Edwards is the one linebacker that we have that's actually good, but on this play, I'm sorry, I just don't see it. Now, this play gets called back, but just look at this. Look what Joe Burrow does to this man's ankles. My goodness. Pick your ankles up off the field, young man. All right, now I'm showing this play for two reasons. One, I love good defensive play, and Malik Jackson is going to get the sack here. And two, I got a bone to pick with somebody after the play. All right, Joe Burrow takes the snap. Pocket collapses. Beautiful sack by Malik Jackson. Now look, now look at this. Jayla Mill gets up and starts dancing. You're down in the game. What are you celebrating for? All right, now on this play, this is just a franchise quarterback doing franchise quarterback things. Carson Wentz is going to take the snap here. All right, the, fifth, the problem with it is, though, as you're about to see, nobody is open. So what does Carson do? Takes matters into his own hands, gets out of the pocket, 
scrambles, fights, touchdown, tied game. Franchise quarterback stuff right there. All right, now this is unfranchised quarterback stuff right here, as you're about to see. All right, now we're in single back 12 personnel. We got twins right. All right, now Carson Wentz is going to take the snap. He's going to try to thread the needle to the right receiver. And what I don't understand is how does he not see the safety creep up? What are you looking at, Carson? Seriously. All right, now this is going to be another opportunity missed right here. All right, Carson Wentz is going to toss it to Miles Sanders in the flat. Bengals are going to come in on a corner blitz. They're pointing that out. All right, now freeze it right there. Now, if Miles Sanders catches this ball, look at all that green that he has in front of him. But unfortunately, it's a drop pass. Another opportunity missed. Eagles go on to tie in this game. If you like this content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Philly Experience Podcast for more content. And listen to our podcast, which is downloadable on all major platforms. I catch you guys in next week's game. Hopefully it'll be a whole lot better.